which is called Everyday Eyes. There it is, you can see what the name is. And in it, you get um, the dual lended mascara, which is here. I pointed it Ooh, there. And that's in sort of a, a deep brown. You get the clear lash and brow set as well. You get four eyeshadows. These are powder eyeshadows, not creams. You get a pair of false lashes and some glue. And you get a double ended pencil. One side is brown, the other side is sort of a goldy bronze colour. So I'm going to do a little look with this set. You get these. Um, and they are, you get sort of a ready rusty brown here. You get a sort of a darker, um, it's more of a sort of grey brown. Um, and then you get two fairly neutral colours. You get this golden sort of honey colour at the bottom. And then sort of a bone highlight colour at the top. And I'm going to take the sort of, off this sort of um, bare if I do that so it focuses, you can see. I'm going to take the more golden of those two colours and place that over the entire eyelid. And I'm just using this um, C brush, which is really good for doing large areas like the whole eye. And you can see that's just given me a really nice shimmer. Now you can put more of this on if you want to, but I think that's probably enough just to give me that lovely warm sort of look. And just take a touch of this bone colour and pop that in the centre of the eyebrow just as a highlight and bring it down just a touch. There we are. You can take a little bit of that bone and place it on the inner corner as well. Like so. Now I'm just going to take a bit of liner. This is the studio liner and it's the brown one. And I'm going to place that just across the top, really close to the lashes. Take it in as far as you want to. Take it underneath. I like to wing mine out just a touch. There, just give me a little bit of a, an accent there. Now, we're going to take the darker of those browns and build this up gently. So, using the two, take the more golden, the lighter of the two browns. I'm just going to use a little dome brush. Tap off any excess and go into the crease. Mark out your crease. And just over the top of that liner just to give it a bit of a smudge like this. So we've marked out our crease like this. Just really gently and hardly disturbing the skin. You can see I've marked out the crease. And then bring it in. Now take the darker of those two browns, go underneath. Yeah, you can see it's really smoked it out a bit. And gently go over the top. And concentrate on the outer corner mainly. With that darker brown. Just giving ourselves a really nice sort of smoky day look. a little bit of deep dark brown. Um, I'm going to use the eye pencil and just pull that on the outer corner. You could use this instead of the studio one. I just wanted to use something that a little would smudge but these are pretty good. Quite smudgy and quite soft. You can go along the waterline with that. There we are. If you want to, you can take the gold side of this pencil and just go along the inner corner. So it just helps to open the eye out. And then just gently blend it with the other pencil. 
the mascara. It's not as light as it looks. It's actually sort of quite a nice deep dark brown. So curl your lashes first and then apply a nice coat. See, it's doing a good job of emphasising my lashes. There. You can really see them. So you don't always have to use black. That's done a great job of emphasising the lashes. And you can go back, do a couple more coats if you want to. Um, you can use something like this, which is the clear. And I'm actually going to use this clear one. This is the eyebrow side. It comes with, um, it's just a very clear gel. Make sure you wipe off the excess or you're going to end up with kind of quite gloopy eyebrows. And just gently comb it through. And that should set your brows nicely. Now the other thing you can do is use this clear mascara on the lower lashes. If you are likely to suffer um, from rubbing your eyes or sometimes your mascara ends up down here then either use a clear one or a waterproof. A waterproof is less likely to smudge. You also get some lashes in this kit, so feel free to use those. They're, they probably need trimming because they look quite long, um, but they are sort of, yeah, quite long, quite fluttery. I think they're a nice in between. If you sort of look at them up close, you've got a good range of lengths of the individual lashes, but you'll see that they need trimming at either end. You need the primer and plumper. So start with the priming side. You see it in a bullet like this and you're probably quite tempted to just stick it straight on the lips. It's not really going to work like that. It needs to be applied with your fingers or a brush. Now this one is good because it also acts to kind of erase the lip line. So you could draw your own lips in. It's a mineral lipstick and it's in Prime Plum. Just kind of a dark sort of plummy colour. I think it kind of goes with this smouldery brown sort of look. There you go. It's a very sort of browny sort of plum colour. Yeah. So you can see it's a very browny sort of colour. This is probably what I would call neutral for me. Up with a really bright blusher. And it is this one which is just from the everyday range and it's called Flushed and you can see it's a really vibrant pink. With this look you could either go two ways, you could go with a vibrant pink or a vibrant orange and both of them would look really nice. And I'm just going to apply it with the Total Face Brush. Just pick up some colour all over the brush and you see it picked up quite a bit there. Tap it off and then work it on the cheekbones. You can see, I'm just getting a really nice hint of colour. Work it all the way up. Sometimes blusher is the thing I love the most and it cheers me up no end. If I want to go fairly neutral on the rest of my face, I'll often pick a really vibrant blusher. And I must feel like I need to do that today. So oh, there is our look. It is a fairly neutral but intense look using the Everyday Eyes kit and a few other items from the Mineral, the Normal and the Studio range. But um, yes, I think this is a really nice look that I would sort of go out during the day or even during the evening. It's one of those sort of versatile looks with the sort of golden brown. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.